Hi, yeah. Uh, my name's Michelle. I run JoJo Designs, and I've decided to jump into the scary paddling pool that is YouTube videos and floss tubing, as it's known amongst stitchers. Um, I wanted to be able to show people what the limited edition colour threads and fabric each month look like in real life. Um, obviously, monitors differ, but hopefully, you'll get a better idea than just a simple picture on the Facebook group or the website. Um, I'm going to be doing this each month towards the end of the month. I'm just doing it a bit early this month because I'm on holiday next week and because I thought I'd get Augusts in here, you know, sneak it in quickly. So, without further ado, August's limited edition, which hopefully a lot of you have already seen, is Regal Peacock. That's it in its skein all wound up. Excuse the dyed fingers, you can tell I've been doing thread. And that's how it looks when it's unwound. Um, there you go, that's a good picture there. So you've got green, you've got a blue and you've got a purple. They're quite nice rich dual tone colours. And um, Then when you come to fabric, um, the important thing when you choose hand dyed fabric is to remember that different fabrics will take the dyes in different ways. Um, natural fabrics will always dye darker, so the darkest fabric you can get is always going to be linen, always. Um, and then after that it's going to be Ada because that's mainly a cotton. Um, the paler fabrics will be the even weaves which is a bit of a bummer if you like deep colours and you like stitching on even weave because they have a high um, man-made uh, viscose blend they don't take the dye as well so they will always be a bit paler. Um, the other thing you need to remember is that when you add an opal thread into your opal fabrics the opal thread won't take the dye at all and so that gives the effect of an opal fabric will look paler um, even though the base fabric threads are the same because you've got the opal in it it dilutes the effect if you like um, so this is Regal Peacock on linen this is a 28 count opal cashel it's beautiful deep rich colours I hope you can see that and then this is the 28 count Brittany Lagana even weave. Uh, you can see this is quite different if I show you them side by side. I need three hands. You can see, I think, if that'll behave. There you go. You can see how different it is between the even weave and the linen. And then in between the two, as I said, the Ada. Still quite dark, just not quite as rich as the linen is. So, hopefully, if you're watching this, you're a member of my Facebook group. If not, why not? Um, you should join, and the link will be in the comments. Um, I quite often run little contests, giveaways on the Facebook group. Um, generally, you know, just have a bit of fun and to get my products out there and to get people seeing them and talking about me a bit because that's what it's all about. And um, I ran one recently and one of the things I asked people as part of the giveaway was to tell me which thread would be named after them or if they could design a thread, what would it be and why and what would they call it. So some people chose existing threads and some people came up with ideas for new ones and this is September's Limited which is from one of the new ideas. I'm not sure if you can see that, that's pink. So it's a light pink navy blue and yellow. Maybe putting it the other way around, will that help? No, it doesn't want to pick up. Does that show pink? Yeah. So um, this was Emma Markin who um, did an entry with a picture of her son Leon and his best friend Oscar who's known as Rue, who's Vicky Gordon's son and Janice Gordon's grandson. And um, uh, she called it Oscar, uh, sorry, Leon and Rue's Summer Days. So that is September's limited edition thread. There's the skein. I think it's very pretty personally. I like it so. And then we go to the fabric. I might need to darken the pink a bit in the fabric because it really washes out. I quite like it. I, I like the effect. It kind of looks like you know, washed out denim with the pale pink in there. Uh, that's a linen. The first one was even weave, I can't remember if I said that, sorry, that's the linen. And this is the Ada. I know some people call it Aida, some people call it Ada. Mm, I don't know, I don't know. It's not an opera, so I don't call it Aida, I call it Ada. Um, so, for 
this month, the other thing I'm going to share with you is my seconds. Um, now and then on my Facebook group you'll see me advertise that I have a load of thread seconds, sometimes fabric seconds, but I always take pictures of them individually. Um, the thread seconds are more of a lucky dip kind of thing. So I thought I would show with you what an example was of seconds. So there are three things three, that can make a thread a second. The first one is if I get a colour wrong. So this on, get it the right way around. This is a misty of Regal Peacock. So when you see the middle colour, I got completely wrong. I just used the wrong colour. Um, not as easy to tell. Not ah, you can there. So when you see, I just used the completely wrong colour in the middle section. And so that's the original, and that's the misty. So that's one example of what a misty will be. There is nothing wrong with this skein of thread whatsoever. I just messed up when I was dying, which happens, and um, so that will be going cheap for someone. Um, another way you can do it, uh, that there'll be seconds, is this is a birthday candles thread. But what's happened is this piece of thread was over there. So it means you've got one bit of thread that goes yellow, yellow, blue, yellow, pink, rather than yellow, pink, blue. So because you've got that extra bit of um, yellow in there, it's not perfect and I won't send it as a fully paid thread because in my opinion if it's not perfect you don't pay the full price for it. Um, there may be occasion I miss something, I'm not perfect but, and this is another one, that's a, you see that little pink spot, yeah, that's a skein of salamander which is one of my very favourites, love this thread but again it's not perfect, it's not as if that would stop me personally you just snip it out cut it out and it's still apart from that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that skein of thread so those are the three examples of what a second thread is from Joe Dewey Designs and um, they will always be something you can use um, there's one other thing that can make them and that's if the colours get a bit muddy but quite often with those I don't like to sell them anyway because I just think there's too much of it that is not usable so I don't tend to send them out so those are your three things. You can have a dye spot of a wrong colour or on you know you can have um one side the wrong colour where you've got a loop that goes all like the birthday candles thread, I don't know how to explain it. Or you can have one where I've messed up and used the wrong colour in one or more sections. Um I've actually invented a couple of new threads that way. <laughs> um anyhow, thank you for watching. Um I hope I haven't bored you to death too much. And um, I will put some links in the um, the com not the comments is it in I'll put some links in the box beneath I'm, I'm not quite sure what you call that either I'm going to have to ask Amanda I don't know much of anything um, so subscribe to my channel um, give a comment let me know what you thought um, and let me know what you'd be interested in seeing about the process about what I do um, my products if there's anything in particular you'd like to see on camera to get a better idea of what it looks like and ask any questions you feel you want to um, I may not answer them because obviously some of them might give things away that I'd rather not give away but um, I will do my best to answer any questions you have and I will next month maybe do a little random pick from those people who've decided to subscribe and um, give away something. Maybe a bit of October's fabric. Let's see. But anyhow, have a good day. Bye.